right. So say we have a, uh, oops, let's do, okay, we are recording. Perfect. So say we have data that we want to put into a repeating group and we want to filter that data. So this type of data I'm going to do is just a type of data I've put in here before. Um, let's do house type. Let's do house type. Um, insert dynamics text, current houses, house type, title. Okay. And I want to look at created, um, created date, right? So I'm going to use the date time picker to create two of these date and time pickers. I'll title this one date time picker first, second, just so I know what they are. And so what I want to say in here is this is just a list right now of all of my house types. Okay, do a search for house types. All right, I'm not putting any constraints on that. All right, let's see what that looks like. All right, so I have townhouse, single family, and then I made this random one, Marts. It means nothing. Perfect, but these don't do anything. So, okay. Now, if I want to filter that, what I would want to do is I could do it right here, or I could do it under conditional. Um, I'm going to do it under conditional just because it would make more sense usually in an app to do it under a conditional. Um, typically, when you load a list, you're just going to load a blank list based off something. So this list is this unless when time picker first value Yeah, value 400 is that is not empty. Data source, we'll change it to do a search for house type. And we want the created date to be, oops, greater than, greater than the time breakers first value. That'll give us anything bigger than this one, but we also want it to be not greater than this one. So created date also needs to be less than this one's value. We could also do or equal to, um, that would give us essentially the same results. So I'll just switch these to, um, because we want less than this number, but more than this number, but it, we could include those numbers too. So, all right. In my database, I can see I have them created on December 12th, 2021 and January 29th, 2022. So let's just use that as a basis. So 2021, I put one before that. And after that, that gives me everybody, right? But say I want to do, um, after that date, so I do everything in 2022, I'm only going to get this one because it was made in 2022. Um, you could filter that down to specific days too. So like, say I was looking for something that happened between January 4th and 5th, I could have it easily show that here by using a, the four and the six. It showed me everything between the fourth and the sixth. Um, yeah, so that's an easy way to do that. It filters this group based on these two time pickers. You obviously want to put some information on the page to help show your uh, users what that means, but pretty simple to do. Filters your repeating group. Hope that helps. And that is how to filter a repeating group based on date and time pickers to find a specific set of data between dates and times. Please like and subscribe.